Very nice, my name is Boy. Yo, sup, guys? Another coin game, man. We are playing a elite uh, player from from what I hear on on uh, Twitter and from watching his YouTube videos. He is pretty good at pushing buttons on his controller. We are playing Tzar. His channel will be in in the description below if you guys don't know him. You can check him out. He he plays pretty good people. Plays Kilo. Played Toke. He's he's definitely good at the game. But right now we get ball first. I'm just trying to trying to get something going. I know he's a good player, so I know every time I touch the ball, I need to accumulate some type of points. Um, his his team is uh, I believe one better overall than mine. He has he has a couple better players than I do at certain positions, but I'm still confident enough in my pushing buttons abilities to get the ball across the end zone to get the pig skin. And look at Keenan Allen, man. He's that's what I like to see effort in big game situations. That's what I like to see. Basically, he comes out and I'm able to kind of stop his run. Look at that. Like, I feel like all my players are all idiots. Like, pick your head up. Like, please just put your hands up. Like, just say hi to the ball. And here he balls me deep. Now, he's using the Saints playbook with a strong close formation. And he hits me with that a few times. I didn't adjust to that until later on in the game. But um, once I made the adjustment to it, I was fine. He, but the, by the end of the game, was pretty much audio right there. Get a nice QB um, shed, and I forced a bad throw. I tried to pass lead that down so I could click on, and he couldn't come in and intercept it. But unfortunately, that didn't work. That backfired, and I threw an interception. And basically, right there, he has Calvin again. But um, his quarterback, I believe that's Dan Marino. He overthrows him slightly right there. Hits a nice. Um, a little crossing type route over the middle. Kamadi was just a little bit outside. And he's using the counter. Throughout the beginning of the game, he was able to get some pretty good runs on me. But he's he's definitely became pass first. And I know and um that fade route is kind of hard to stop right there. Four from one, get a huge, huge stop. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm like, okay, three minutes left in half. I need to get in the end zone. Try to hit a screen right here. Don't really get no type of blockers. Actually, I got zero blockers at all. And right there, he sends an edge got um, edge blitz. So I, I had to get rid of the ball. And here he goes again. Bomb me over the top. <laughs> and I still, by that time, I'm like, okay, I got to make an adjustment. That was the second time he bombed me over the top. And right now, the score is 14-7, which is, I'm already down from two plays of him bombing me over the top. And that formation, like, I found out that uh, I didn't have my corner set up. But Patrick Peterson, my right outside cornerback, I had him playing outside of Calvin. And he's running straight down the middle of the seam. Both safeties in that, in that formation, both safeties push outwards they don't really stay in a projector of the middle of the field both safeties push outwards so you need to adjust and you need to uh manually pull them over right there i know he's going back to that fade route i tried to get an animation troll pump off for the interception i don't and right now i'm down 21 7 but the score really doesn't look like i'm getting beat that bad he hit me over the top twice definitely should have made some type of adjustment to that and there he goes again bomb me over the top <laughs> After that one, I'm like, okay, I definitely have to make an adjustment. Here he makes a bad read, tests my user, and I get the interception. But unfortunately, Troy is, does not outrun Matt Moncrief, Colts receiver, rising star 90 overall. Playoff edition, right there, I got bailed out. If he would have intercepted that, that was definitely would have been a pick six, and that was definitely would have been a game. Third and ten, we need that conversion really bad. Fourth and ten. I pass lead up. I test the next time I'm testing his user, but because I passed lead up and there was a little bit of space, I was able to get something going. Hit Le'Veon Bell. Nice run to the outside. Three minutes left in the third quarter. I definitely need to get some points on the board because this game is almost out of reach. And when you're playing a very good opponent, you need to make every possession count. I don't know how many times I have to say that. Even uh, even the small points, like all those added up. You need to make every uh, point count. Uh, most people were saying, like, already telling me Tizo was pretty good. I mean, and I, I know I'm not the best man player. I've never said I was. But to get better at the game, so you can't run from competition. I want to play the best people. If I get smacked, then you smack me. I'm not going to quit. I want to learn what I'm doing wrong so next time I can fix, I can, uh, fix it. You need some fixings. Right there, I'm pushing the Y button. Uh, once again, one of my players goes idiotic mode and doesn't give me an animation right there. I send a little blitz 
try to get something going. Le'Veon Bell just runs over his defender. Oh, if he had a little bit more speed, if that was Bo Jackson, he would have definitely shrugged off that second hit, and I would have been for uh, six. There was nothing but green daylight in, the, in the, uh, his way. Right now, 14-21, I'm driving with the ball in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter clutch time. I'm just trying to get in the end zone. I'm trying to get this coins added. I'm trying to, um, just trying to, uh, get a win, basically. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get a W. Trying to get some points on the scoreboard. Almost two minute warning. Third and two. We are making pretty, pretty good reads. Now, this is the part I don't like. Being under the 10 yard line, I hate my red zone offense. I need to come up with better red zone plays. This is the, this is the, this is the worst play I've, I've called the whole game. I called a horrible play. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. It was a really, really bad play for that, for how close I was. <laughs> and, but luckily, his first play on offense, he gives me the ball right back. So we're in the chance to win. But where we at, right? Right in the middle <laughs> of the freaking goal line. I, I, my goal line offense is really bad. And here's a, uh, this, this, should have I should have probably ran the ball more, but his play right there I have Jordan Cameron open. As soon as he cuts, I needed to I needed to hit him right now, but I don't. I hesitate, and he has free safety Calvin Johnson, who has the best uh, defensive catching stat in the game. So most likely he's going to pick that off if he is a wide receiver in the defensive field. So that's basically the game. <laughs> uh, I have one time I left. All he has to do is nail the ball. But he does, he just calls a quick little slant and comes across the middle. That's basically the end of the game. I lost by four. Definitely a very good player. See, that's where I made the adjustment. I bought Pat P inside and um, man him up instead of having him playing in the zone. Just try some things right there. Don't get enough time to even throw the ball. Get a sack. But, he, but he's definitely a good player. I had a, a lot of fun playing him. Hopefully, I can play him again. Like I said, guys, I would, it would really appreciate to me if you guys would sub to his channel. I'm trying to give him some love. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he has more subscribers than, when, than I have. It doesn't really matter. It's all about the views. But here's this play I was talking about that could have basically won me the game. So, it was, I believe, second and goal. He is... Uh, I believe he's, I don't know what defenses he is in, but I've come out in a, in a little single bunch formation. Now, right now, I'm looking to hit Jordan Cameron. He is my, my main target. So, I'm going to call Hut, and right there, he's he's open, but I just wait too long, and he stops running. But anyways, GG, hey, it's good fucking daddle.